Hello and welcome. It's our Wednesday devotion. It's back to church week. Saturday 9am we have a working bee at 24 Valley Drive to get our church ready for Sunday the 12th of July 9.30. Come and join us for worship. I hear the ladies had a great time yesterday. We're all doing what we can to comply with the requirements for us as a church community. So thank you as we go back to our church for worship. Look forward to seeing you. So today, let us consider this verse. It's John 13, verse 34 and 35. A new commandment I give you, love one another, as I have loved you, so you must love one another. By this everyone will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. Love one another, bear one another's burdens, forgive one another. The New Testament gives us many one another's things that we should do for those around us, those in our church community, those in our family, those we do life with, people we meet along the roads of life, people we interact with day to day. The word one another is used a hundred times in 94 verses in the New Testament. 47 of those verses gives instructions to us as followers of Jesus. One third of those one another commands deal with the church getting along. For example, we are to be at peace with one another. Mark 9, 50. And be kind, tender hearted and forgiving of one another. That's in Ephesians 4, 32. Another third of these one another's tell us to love one another. The verses in John 13, 34 and 35 are a prime example of the attitude we are to have for one another. 15% of those one another's deal with humility or care or service. For example, we are to wash one another's feet. John 13, 14 and serve one another. That's found in Galatians 5. The remaining one another verses deal with various issues, such as praying for each other in James 5, being hospitable in 1 Peter 4 9. It says to us, offer hospitality to one another without grumbling. Each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others. Friends, the outworking of love one another comes in the form of service and care. The parable of the Good Samaritan, maybe you know it, is always confronting and presents the question to us, who are we overlooking? Who is our neighbour? Who is in need. Don't get trapped in the mindset that it's someone else's job, someone else's role, someone else's concern to care. God calls me and you to cross that road with a compassionate heart and make a difference to those around us. Luke 10, 33. But a Samaritan, as he travelled, came where the man was, and when he saw him, he took pity on him. He went to him and bandaged his wounds, pouring on oil and wine. Then he put the man on his own donkey, brought him to an inn, and took care 
of him. Love one another. Yes, things have been different. Yes, things have been challenging over recent weeks. But we have all been there for each other. We have all been there for one another. So thank you and well done everybody. I pray you have a great week. I look forward to connecting with you over the weekend. So God bless. Amen.